Hey everybody, today on Pearl's Park Pass, me, you, and Miles, we're going to make the Disneyland Kitchen Sink Ice Cream Explosion Extravaganza! What? Thank you so much for joining our video today. Look at this, do you see all of these ingredients right here? Every one of these ingredients are included in the Kitchen Sink Disney Sunday. This Disney Sunday is located at the... What was that? You can get the Kitchen Sink Ice Cream Sundae at the Beaches and Cream Ice Cream Shop at the Beach Resort down at Walt Disney World. Now, what does Kitchen Sink mean? Well, the first terminology of Kitchen Sink was used in World War II. Mm -hmm, World War II. Because they said they threw everything at us but the Kitchen Sink. Then later on, they started saying they threw everything at us, including the Kitchen Sink. And then the term Kitchen Sink just started to mean it means adding everything regardless if you need it or not. Now, take a look at all these ingredients for this one sundae. Coffee ice cream, chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, strawberry ice cream, milk, chocolate chip ice cream, brownies, angel food cake, chocolate straw uh, sprinkles, rainbow see, sprinkles. See, see this green ice cream? Yep. That's mint ice cream. Oh, mint chip. Chocolate chips, you need like a uh, cinnamon cake, you need some crushed up cookies, a banana, chocolate sauce, peanut butter sauce, marshmallow, uh, diced almonds, uh, hot fudge, uh, caramel. Now here's the thing, can I tell you this? That recipe that actually doesn't ask for caramel, it asks for butterscotch. I could not find butterscotch anywhere. Maybe it's just not in fashion anymore. Maybe it's not in vogue. So I'm gonna use, I'm substituting butterscotch for caramel, but I like caramel better anyways. Also, you gotta have strawberry topping, maraschino cherries, a candy bar, peanut butter, chocolate chips, Oreos, can of whipped cream, and you're supposed to have pineapple sauce to go on top of it. I couldn't find that either. And so we're just kind of substituting, taking out the pineapple chunks on top. All right, you ready? You ready to do this? Okay, so we're gonna try to make this kitchen sink. Here's the thing, I, Disney put this recipe on their blog. It's 28 ingredients, 28 ingredients. And then the, the instructions, there's only five instructions. I kind of feel like they just put it out there thinking nobody's gonna really try to make this. So we're gonna try to make this, but these instructions, this is not very instruction-y. instruction, -y? instruction -y? They don't give you a lot of instruction. All right, so here we go. Okay, Miles, get ready. We need to put a half cup of warm fudge sauce. Now, it says warm fudge sauce. Do you think it needs to be heated, or does that mean to room temperature? Warm. Miles says room temperature. We're going with it. All right, so maybe it needs to be heated. <laughs> I think we have to heat it. One moment later. I have no idea how long to put it in for, so I'm thinking 25 seconds. Do that. Let's see if this works. Do you want to pour it in? All right, get it all in there. Whoa, careful, it's good. You're starting to flip it all over the countertop, okay? We need a half a cup of uh, caramel. So I'm gonna put it in a little bit longer so they can be a little bit hotter. I just noticed the caramel is more liquidy than the hot fudge, so I probably don't have to heat it nearly as long. Like, that long. Pour it in. Oh, that's good, that's good, okay. And now we need to put a half a cup of peanut butter, so it's basically this. You're gonna squeeze it, just squeeze it all in there. Hang on, I gotta take this off. Squeeze it all in there. Okay. Let's get that all in there. Now that, now that. No, now we gotta kind of stir it up a little bit. Just make it a nice little base on the bottom of the bowl. You weren't supposed to see that. This is the part where it gets kind of crazy. We had to put the ice cream in. This is gonna get nuts though. My friend was an ice cream scooper. In high school, and he taught me this trick. He said to take um, warm water and put the scoop in warm water, and then that way the ice cream kind of melts a little bit better. So we'll see. We need two scoops of two large scoops of chocolate ice cream. Scoop it. Scoop it. There's one. And there's two. That's large scoop. Okay. Then we need to do two scoops of vanilla ice cream. Did you just taste it? What? You're not supposed to taste it till it's all done. How is it, Miles? Good. Good so far. Okay. Yes. 
You, you keep, yep. Good. One baby scoop. Now we'll do a daddy scoop. Whoa. And then one more daddy scoop. <laughs> Don't touch it yet. Don't touch it! Now we've got to do two scoops of strawberry ice cream. Do you like strawberry ice cream? I love strawberry ice cream. You love strawberry ice cream. I don't know if you've ever even had strawberry. Hey, quit, quit eating the ice cream. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Maybe strawberry. Oh, is it really? I never tasted it before. But you love it. Okay, two scoops of strawberry ice cream. Now, the official recipe uh, calls for one scoop of mint chocolate chip and one scoop of coffee. I love, I love strawberry. It tastes so good. Does it? But it's said that if you don't want to use those flavors, you can do whatever two other flavors you want to do. But I'm trying to follow the recipe, so we've got, here's the coffee. I can't, I don't know how to open this. How do I get this off? I don't know how to get this open. <sighs> one scoop. This is why I should I shouldn't I, I you know what I'm not an ice cream person so okay one scoop of that now after that Miles I bet you get what, what are you doing one scoop of mint chocolate chip okay net wait whoa. do you like it it's it's mint chocolate chip I told you you did tell me okay. Now, Miles, this is the part where I need your help. You have to be able to do this just right. Spray the whipped can of whipped cream. Now, you might be asking yourself, how much of the whipped cream do you use? The whole can. Can you do it? You have to like this. See this little, this little push here with your finger? You have to go like this. Hey! Can you do it? I'll hold the top of the can, you push. Good, keep going. Okay, good. Oh, there's still more. There's still more in there. Now this is where it gets real crazy. Are you ready? No, oh, no, no! Don't eat it. Not no. Don't eat it. Okay. Here's what we have to do. This is called smell it. I think it smells so good. It's called angel food cake. Does that smell good? Okay. We need to rip off some angel food cake and just plop it in on one side right there. Just drop it in. Drop that in over there. Okay, good. Now, we gotta do this with the brownies. Push it in right there. And push this one in right here. Okay, good. Then, you pick, take four cookies and just go plop, 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 plop. Yeah. Yeah. And then you need to do, it says, the recipe says to do one candy bar. But it didn't say what type. I was going to do a Snickers, but I thought that might be too much. Snickers? What's Snickers? So I just did Hershey's. You break them off, you put in little pieces like this. Beep, 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 beep. Then you're supposed to do a half a cup of uh, peanut butter, peanut butter uh, like chips, chocolate chips. They're not chocolate chips, they're peanut butter chips. What are they called? Peanut butter chips? Okay, just kind of sprinkle them around. Kind of do it in one spot there. Well, that's okay. You know what? It's all yours. Half a cup of chocolate chips. Kind of try to get them in that area where you haven't got the peanut butter one. Okay. Then we need cinnamon cake. I couldn't find any cinnamon cake, but I found cinnamon cream cheese bites. And these will, two of them will do. Plop, plop. What's this? And what does it look like? One banana. This is for the nutritional value when you're eating this. You just want to have a little bit of nutritional value. Then, on top of that, you have to do marshmallow. Marshmallow! Marshmallow. And now, with the marshmallow, you're supposed to drizzle that across the top. And 
Then you need Hershey syrup or chocolate syrup. Oh, well, not just the same spot, move it around. Then you're supposed to put some strawberry feeling across the top. Then you're supposed to put some crushed nuts. If you have a peanut or nut allergy, I wouldn't do that. Then you need to strain the maraschino cherries and we just pour those on top. We're not done yet. Then you need to put, some, put a little bit of uh, crushed cookie. Not a lot. You don't want to go overboard. Then, this is the part you've been waiting for the very most. What are they? Sprinkles. You're supposed to put a half a cup of sprinkles. Chocolate and rainbow. Are you just going? Pour it just slowly. Oh, one spot. Just one spot full of sprinkles. Ta-da! That is the kitchen sink they make at the Beaches and Cream uh, Ice Cream Parlor at the Beach Club at Walt Disney World. So hey, take a look at this. This is it. This is all the different layers. Now, just so you guys know, you ready for this? Eight scoops of ice cream is one gallon of ice cream. This is a, this is supposed to be made for a whole bunch of people, but because in this day and age and what's going on, I don't think people are gonna be ordering and sharing anymore. So I don't know if they even keep doing this recipe anymore. But we're gonna try to attempt it right now. Okay. Do you want rainbow or blue? Blue. Blue. Blue is yours. Okay. Dig way down deep. Like get all the way down there. <laughs> oh, I got brain freeze already. I'm gonna go down and try to get that, that cream, that peanut butter cream. Oh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Do you like it? Mm -hmm. You have to dig deep. You gotta dig deep. Get in there. Oh, cherry stems. I would take those out. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Subscribe to Podcast and click the button on the video. Click and bye bye. Bye. And our patrons, they get an extra video every week. That's right, it's me and Amanda answering any questions that they ask us. You guys have a great, safe, happy 4th of July holiday. Be, uh, have, just be great out there, everybody. Be kind. Bye-bye.